you have done well with your uh, JEE mains exam on Sunday. So, this year JEE has a speciality because uh, the board exam percentage which you get will not be taken into count, count for uh, your rank you get after JEE mains. So, let us get on with the analysis part here. So, we are here today to discuss the math section analysis in the JEE mains question paper. So, if you see the weightage given to 11th and 12th syllabus, this year 12th syllabus has got a more edge because 60 percent weightage is given to 12th syllabus and uh, 40 percent for the 11th. And if you see the topic wise breakup, as usual and as expected, we have got uh, integral calculus, differential calculus, probability and coordinate geometry as the major chunk in the question paper. So, those who have prepared well for in these topics would definitely score well. And uh, coming to the difficulty level analysis, uh, we have got more than 50 percent questions are of uh, average level and uh, some 20 to 20 percent are of easy level. So, you can just see that one can attempt easily 15 to 60 questions within a period of time that is 1 hour very, very comfortably. And uh, the questions asked, if you see the questions asked are like uh, just take conic sections, the questions are asked on ellipse and hyperbola. So, if you know what is an ellipse, hyperbola, eccentricity, the foci, tangent and normals, you can easily solve these questions and this similarly goes with the other topics that are determinants, probability and application of derivatives also. The concepts are very, very straightforward and simple and calculations are also less, but we have got difficult one also like uh, in integrals part where uh, you are given uh, the different parabolas and a straight line, you have to find the area bounded by these curves. So, the difficulty is that you have to figure out the graphical representation of what is given in the form of equation. So, once you have done that, that is very easy to calculate the area, you just have to integrate the simple equations, that is it. And also we have got uh, a question from differentiation. Uh, we have got uh, in inverse trigonometric function given and you have to differentiate that. So, if you go by conventional differentiation, it would take ages for you to solve that question. So, first you have to simplify that question into a the other form and then differentiate. So, it will save your time instead of solving uh, the conventional way. And uh, we have got the tedious questions also where the calculations are very, very lengthy. That our questions are uh, quadratic equation uh, where we have got uh, the roots uh, given here two consecutive numbers, the roots are two consecutive numbers for the quadratic equation. First, you have to simplify the quadratic equation and then use the clue that the difference between the roots is 1. So, this is a lengthy question and also we have question uh, from triangles where uh, ortho center we have to find out, but the coordinates of the triangle are given in a form of a parameter. So, you have to uh, first find out uh, the coordinates and then find out the ortho center. So, this question is also a lengthy one and the calculations are also tedious. So, coming to the other tricky part uh, that is integrals. So, we have got a question uh, where we have to find out uh, the integral of tan to power of 4 plus integral of tan to power of 6. So, here if you go by conventional way, you would not be able to solve the question. So, here you have to know the relation between the two integrals that is integral of tan to power of 4 in relation uh, to integral of tan to power of 6. If you know that, it will be very, very easy to solve for you within less period of time. So, overall after seeing all of this, you can say that uh, the paper was an average paper. The concepts are very, very simple, but the calculations are a bit lengthy here. So, those who have break down the concept very fast and are efficient with the calculations. So, for those people, this paper is a piece of cake. So, that is it guys and I hope all the best for your coming exams. That is uh, those people who have yet to give the JE mains on uh, Sunday and Saturday and I, I hope all the best for JE advance also. And thank you guys.